Hi, my name is Jonathan Paula, and welcome to this trailer commentary and review for Warner Brothers Pictures' upcoming comic book film, The Man of Steel. The latest adaptation of everyone's favorite time-traveling, bulletproof, kryptonite-fearing superhero, Superman himself. And as if the 11 seasons of the Smallville TV show weren't enough, Man of Steel will once again show audiences Superman's famed origin story. Growing up in the rural heartland of Kansas under the adoptive parenting of Jonathan and Martha Kent, played this time around by Kevin Costner and Diane Lane, which right off the bat has me excited because I've loved almost every film Kevin Costner has done. And the fact that we get to see another version of this origin story isn't all that exciting. I mean, we've been here, we've done that, we've seen it before. Maybe this gritty reboot in IMAX 3D will show us some stuff we haven't seen before or do a different take on it. This time around, little outcast Clark Kent saved a school bus full of children and drew some attention to himself in the process. You have to keep this side of yourself a secret. What was I supposed to do? Just let him die? Well, of course Superman can't let him die. That's the entire reason we love him as a hero. And even though he's downtrodden and sporting a beard in a small town, he wants to get out there and help yes, people. Even if it risks his own identity in life, that's what he does, and that's why we like him. And here we have shots of him trekking towards the Fortress of Solitude in the Arctic in his iconic red cape, played this time around by Henry Cavill. The cinematography, the tone, and the pacing from this film is gonna be a little bit more serious and gritty than previous adaptations. And I, for one, welcome that. It is a bit tired with all these adaptations these days, but you can tell, Superman is mad as hell and he's not gonna take it anymore. Blasting off from the frozen tundra, orbiting the Earth, Hopefully we won't have any weird time-traveling escapades like in Superman Part 1. But this film was brought to us by Zack Snyder, the same guy that did Watchmen in 300, Russell Crowe as Jor-El, we have Christopher Maloney, Richard Schiff, Michael Shannon, Lawrence Fishburne, and Amy Adams in this picture. All of it brought to us by producer Christopher Nolan. And here we have some epic, grandiose action scenes, which should make this a great summer blockbuster film. But hopefully we also get an emotional plot too, which ultimately will make or break this picture. He was convinced that the world wasn't ready. Well, hopefully we're ready because Man of Steel comes out on June 14th, 2013 in IMAX 3D. I, for one, am excited. There hasn't been many comic book adaptations I haven't enjoyed, and this one certainly looks like it has all the recipes for success. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, but until next time, thank you for watching and listening.